right, so this is activity 1.1.4, pulley drives and sprockets. So a little bit of background information, and then we get to this first question here. We want to know what direction these pulleys are going. So uh, pulley A is going counterclockwise. I'm sorry, it's going clockwise. And so pulley A is going in this direction here. So what that means is that the belt is going in this direction, which means that it's going to turn this pulley counterclockwise. The belt is still going in this direction, and so what that means is that this pulley here will be going clockwise as well. And finally, the belt is going this direction, and you gotta be careful here because it's still going in this direction. So that means that this pulley here is going also clockwise. Okay, so moving along. So it's time to find the ratios between these uh, pulleys. So between pulley A and B, uh, the formula is always going to be, in this case, since we have the diameters only, uh, D out over D in. Oop. Out over D in, and that's the diameter. And that's going to be the same for all of these, actually, because all we have to work with is the diameter. So for the first pulley, between A and B, uh, we have a diameter of for the out is going to be 3 and for the in is going to be 6. And so we just simply go 3, 3 divided by 6, which means our final answer will be a 1 to 2 ratio. For C to A, we have a diameter of 10 and a diameter of 6. So the diameter of 10 and our original diameter of 6. And so we take our 10 divided by 6, giving us 5 over 3. And so our final ratio is 5 to 3. And finally, D to A. So here's our diameter of 8. We still have our diameter of 6, the original. And so it's going to be 8 divided by 6, and we can reduce that to 4 over 3, which gives us our final answer of 4 to 3. So now <clears throat> we're looking at torque. Okay, so now we have some actual forces involved here, uh, and we know our ratios of what we have here, and uh, we know that uh, the diameter out over diameter in is equal to the torque out over torque in topped over 10 and so we want to substitute and solve and we are trying to find what the torque will be at b c and d in this case b if the input torque is 120 at a so we use our information from above and we can just substitute it in 3 divided by 6 is equal to the thing we don't know, the output torque over the input torque. So then we simply solve for output torque. So our torque at B will be 60.0 foot-pounds. And then we just do the same thing for C and D.
So for most of the time I've been drawing the tau incorrectly. This is actually how you draw it. Okay, so moving on to sprockets and chain systems. The answers for these are pretty straightforward, so I'm going to stop narrating here.